My name is Qingwei Li. I'm a machine learning specialist at AWS. Today, I want to show you how to create a SageMaker shadow test. Log into your AWS account, click SageMaker, and then on the side panel, click Inference, then go to Shadow Test. Click the Create Shadow Test button, enter the name for this shadow test. Optionally, you can add a description and a tag to be associated with this shadow test. Click Next. Now, we need to assign a IAM row to SageMaker to give SageMaker the permission to create this shadow test. Uh, make sure that this row has SageMaker full access, I am policy attached. So now you have two options. One is to use an existing endpoint. This is for the case that we already have an endpoint running and we want to add a shadow variant and test it out. Or if you do not have any existing endpoint, you can choose the option to create a new endpoint. We are going to create a new endpoint in this demo. Enter the endpoint name, and then add the variant for this endpoint. First, let's add the production variant. We want to use the model that was trained on November 22nd. Then let's add our shadow variant. We want to add a older model that was trained a few days prior. As you can see, both variants has been set up using the default configurations. If you want to change the instance type, the traffic sample percentage, you can select the variant and click Edit. So we are going to keep the traffic sample as 100%, but we are going to use a different instance type for the shadow variant. Next, we need to configure the duration for this shadow test. By default, the shadow test will last for seven days, but you can choose any duration between one hour to 30 days. Optionally, you can also enable data capture in this uh, SageMaker endpoint. By enabling this feature, SageMaker will capture the prediction request and the response from both the production variant and the shadow variant. We are going to leave it as unchecked and then click Create Shadow Test. Now in the SageMaker console, you can see our new shadow test is being created. The creation process will take about five to 10 minutes depends on the underlying endpoint variant container and the model type. Now let's see how you can view and monitor the progress of our existing shadow test. Go to SageMaker console, select the shadow test of interest, click view on the action dropdown list, in the summary session, you can see the status, which is currently running, and also the progress on how far we are at our test. On the metrics session, you can select any of the supported metrics from the dropdown list, and SageMaker will present the summary and the statistics for the selected metric. SageMaker also presents a dashboard that visualizes the metrics such as invocation, invocation per in instance, model latencies, and etc. Because we assign both the shadow variant and the production variant the same traffic, so the number of invocation is exactly the same in this demonstration. However, you can notice that the model latency for the shadow endpoint 
is significantly lower than the production variant. In the environment section, it shows the details of your variants, such as the model we use, the instance type, and the instance count for each of your variant. If you are satisfied with the performance of the shadow variant, you can click Deploy Shadow Variant button to deploy it into production. You can choose either to use the production variant setting, or you can retain the shadow variant setting, or you can customize the instance settings as needed. So we are going to use the retain shadow variant setting option, which is also recommended by SageMaker. And confirm, we want to deploy this into production and click the button deploy shadow variant. This will also complete the shadow test. As you can see, the status has been changed from running to stopping. By default, the shadow test will complete automatically at the end of your scheduled duration. However, you can always complete it earlier by selecting the shadow test, select actions, and complete. Here, you will be presented with two options. You can choose to deploy the shadow variant into production. In that case, the previous production variant will be deleted and the shadow variant will become the new production variant. Or you can select to remove the shadow variant. In that case, is the production variant will remain the same and will continue to receive 100% of the invocation traffic.